All right after uh, several days of rain, we are in for a long stretch of some sunshine. Doppler 10 Chief Meteorologist Ashley Barris is keeping an eye on this week's rising temperatures. But first, we're going to start with meteorologist Ross Caruso to explain what's behind the big change. We don't know what's behind it. We don't. We're coming <laughs> to you. I mean, I, I don't care what's I, behind it. I'm just glad we have it. <laughs> I know. We're very fortunate to have this kind of change for us. And I would like to say that, you know, Ashley and I have something to do with it. But, you know, it's a much larger feature, bigger than all of us, that's going to be controlling this very pleasant weather and just to see the big changes that we've had in just the week. Just last week we saw 3.79 inches of rain. That was a ton. We had some very soggy days to put that into perspective. We average about four inches of rain for the entire month of May, so more than likely going to go down is a very soggy month. But hey, a much dif different week is on tap for us, and that's all thanks to this large scale pattern that is taking shape over the northern hemisphere. And essentially what we have at play is a very slow moving system, and we just happen to draw the lucky straw here. So we have two areas of low pressure and kind of an area of high pressure that's sandwiched in the middle, and that's kind of changing the position of the jet stream to where it looks like the Greek letter symbol Omega, which is what we have here this week, the Omega block pattern, which is allowing for some very pleasant weather here in Ohio. But for those far along the East Coast into the uh, Northwest, you're dealing with cooler and wetter than average conditions. And again, this is all thanks to two areas of low pressure that have essentially got cut off a little bit from the upper levels jet stream. And essentially what that is doing is allowing for things to move a little bit slower. And a lot of times when we see these patterns, they can last for days, sometimes even weeks. And they're not that common, but we do see them during spring, winter, and fortunately for us, it looks like we're going to be dealing with it all week long, but all good things and all bad things come to an end eventually. And with that, we are going to see rain eventually back into the picture, but let's enjoy the sunshine for now. We got some pretty warm days ahead.